It is still true. This is still the cheapest potassium source around. But I need to clear up a couple of details that I didn't explain well enough in the video from a couple of years ago. An incredibly useful potassium source is cream of tartar that you can get from your supermarket. So it's very easy to access for most of us and it's also very cheap. Now in just a minute I'll explain portioning or dosing of the powder but first I need to state very clearly this is not a clinical or therapeutic dose I'm describing here. Anyone with a medical condition requiring specific potassium supplementation should follow their doctor's instructions. This source is most useful for those who want to improve or balance their electrolyte levels, help relieve cramping and sore muscles, or help reduce nervy muscle conditions such as restless leg syndrome. And of course, ask your doctor first before taking any new supplement type. Now, as far as balancing electrolyte levels goes, it is very common for people to add sodium and magnesium to their diet or drinks, but forget about potassium. Over time, this strategy can lose its effectiveness because we may not be getting enough potassium to keep up with the high sodium and magnesium turnover. The result of that imbalance can be continued muscle discomfort and cramping because food is generally not a good source of potassium. Unfortunately, modern foods have most of the potassium bred out of them. Even bananas and avocados don't contain much potassium anymore. Off-the-shelf electrolyte drinks also appear to be low in potassium. For people who have very high potassium requirements, like those who do heavy work in the heat and those on very low carbohydrate diets, commercial electrolyte drinks tend not to contain enough potassium. Right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. Cream of tartar is otherwise known as potassium bitartrate, and I'm using my 125 gram tub as an example. Now, even though this, according to the potassium concentration, is only a medium potency potassium source, it appears to be very effective for muscle relaxing and electrolyte balancing. The whole tub lasts me about 22 weeks or five months at a dosage of a half teaspoon about three times a week. The tub costs me about four Aussie dollars for five months supply. In Neanderthal money, that'd be something like $3 US or two pounds 50 sterling. It's a medium potency potassium source. So duty of care, of course, insists, I strongly suggest you ask your doctor if it's okay, just like I did. And guess what? My doctor said, go ahead. In fact, when I asked him about it, he verified my sums on the approximate potassium dosage going by my five month usage out of the 125 gram tub. So 125 grams cream of tartar in the full tub, 16,500 milligrams potassium per 100 grams means times the 16,500 by 1.25, which equals 20,625 milligrams. That 20,625 milligrams over five months, or around 150 days, equals about 140 milligrams of potassium per day. This is well below the US FDA's upper limit suggestion of 4,700 milligrams daily from food. And yes, I understand this sounds like a very low dose, and it probably is. But with experience and the feedback I've got from others, I know that it works. But one last time, it is just a cooking ingredient and concentration could vary a lot. So once again, ask your doctor. I certainly can say this stuff has been super effective for me. It's so cheap, it's almost free and it's very convenient. Just mix the half teaspoon in water or a drink and expect it to be very sour. I had a really annoying shoulder cramp for over a year, and this stuff made it disappear overnight. Just amazing. Well, I'm gonna go see a man about a dog. So thanks for watching. If you found this information useful, then please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. 
Have a beaut day and I'll see you in the next one.